Okay, Frederick Node, first book, part one, page 47, combining chords and melody. Capo at the fifth fret. Okay, what I recommend is to take this phrase by phrase, and so the first phrase would be the first four measures, and just do, well, do, uh, do it in several parts. At first, play just the melody with strong free strokes with the right hand, and focus on the alternating. Now, I changed some of the alternating in the third bar to A, M, I. So here's the, the melody alone. M, I, M, I, M, I, A, M, I, M, I. So that, I'll do it again without saying anything. When you're doing melody alone, make sure you're using your pinky on the D because that's the way you're going to do it with the bass part. Then the next thing is to play just the bass line by itself, counting the rhythm. Make sure that you keep it in time and it's, you know, it's a kind of a slow moving bass. So it's like C, two, three, B, two, three, C, two, G, two, three. And you're not really doing much, but just count, you know, just make sure you're keeping track of the beat. Then the next thing is to play the first chord of each measure. And the first beat of each measure is where the chords are. So you'd play the two C's, and then B in the bass with D on top. Make sure you do index. And then A finger, C and E, and then M finger, G on the bass, B on top. Again, and connect the sound from one chord to the other. Three beats each. Okay, so that's the third thing we do with that phrase. And then the fourth thing would be to put it all together and play the bass with the melody. Now the second phrase, melody alone. A, M, I, M, I, M, I, M, I, M. And I've changed the alternating in the first two measures of that phrase. Just the bass. One, two. Three. And even though the bass is slow, you do hear kind of a line there. Now putting the playing the first chord of each measure with A on top, M, I, M. 
Now putting it all together, I'm going to say the alternating. A, M, I, M, I, M, I, M, I, M. Without saying it. Okay. And then the third phrase, melody alone. I've changed the alternating in the first measure of that phrase to I M I instead of M I M. So it's I M I M I M I M I M I M. Again. Bass line alone, one, two, three. First chord of each measure. I'm going to do that again. I think I did M on the first chord, but it's I on top. I, M, I, M. And then all together. And then the final phrase, there's no changes in the original alternation, so it's I, M, I, no there is one change, A finger on the first beat of the second measure of that phrase, so it's I, M, I, A, I, M, I, M, I, M. Now the C note, that's the last note of the second measure of the final phrase. You want to hold that into the next measure until you hit the C again in the next measure. So you have that uh, A, I, M, hold the C. Okay, now I'm going to play the bass line. One, two, three. First chord of each measure, and I'll say the finger on top. I, A, I, M. All together. I, M, I, A. Notice how I hold that C on that second measure, and that kind of gives it a suspension, a nice effect there. So it's really good to hold that C into the next measure. Okay, so here's the whole thing again. And I'm going to say the alternating this time. I'll do it again, start it again. M, I, M, I, M, I, A, M, I, M, I, A, M, I, 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 One more time, without saying anything.
make sure you connect the bass. So when you play those, you don't want to do something like where you let go of the bass. Don't want to do that. You think of it as two lines. You have the bass line and then the melody line on top and you want them to be kind of horizontal um, and put in dynamics. Before you do this, you might want to warm up. I'll just start with the middle finger on the B string, playing really strong free strokes. And then I'll switch to index. stroke. I'm on the middle finger again, and then the A finger. And then you go to the G string, and so on. Usually I'll do the B string to the G string, back to the B string, back to the E string, back to the B string, because I like the B string. The B string is kind of like the center of those three strings. And just to get a really nice, almost like a popping sound, make sure you follow through with your finger into the palm. Follow through and make it a quick stroke, bringing the finger back, ready to play immediately. Play, bring it back like this. See? And if you know the major scale, you can try like... Um, now we're pretending it's the A major scale. It's really D major on the second fret from the capo. Just listen to your tone and play it really strong, you know. You could do double up, do each note twice. steady, the right hand. Avoid any flipping up of the hand. You really want to scoop into the strings. Scoop into the strings, slice the strings, and follow through to the palm. You don't always do that, but it's good to practice when you're doing something slow, really following through and making a strong sound. You could work on chords, C, G7. Or you could try chords, you know, like the first two chords in the first phrase. Just go back and forth. Or maybe go through the whole thing with just the first chord of each measure. I'll do that right now. Three. finger on top, middle, and connect the sound. And make sure you get the changes in the alternating that I suggest. One more time, I'll go through that. It's M, I, M, I, M, I, A, M, I, M, I. A, M, I, M, I, M, I, M, I.
one thing I forgot to mention at the end of the second phrase uh, where you go A, M, I, M, I, M. In this measure, hold the D and the A together like a sort of like a D minor chord. Hold them together until you play that final chord. So you don't have to put them down together, put them down as you play them, but let one ring into the other. And it sounds much better. So generally you let things ring kind of like a music box. And um, this is the thing that will open us up to playing little guitar pieces short pieces that are mostly in first position and um, this is the first one and then from here it'll be a lot more fun you know it'll be challenging but fun because we'll be doing piece after piece uh, in the first position you know there's